This video shows how to handle multipoint constraints in finite element method. We have to solve this problem using finite element method. As you can see in this problem, stresses strains and displacement are function of x only. You can see that the boundary conditions are mutually dependent here. These types of boundary conditions are called multipoint constraint boundary conditions. Let us substitute the rods with elements E1 and E2. As you can see in the figure, there are two elements and five nodes. Each element is 1D element having two nodes. The table shows element associativity. The table shows the element data. The elemental stiffness matrices can be obtained easily. After assembly, global stiffness matrix is obtained. Similarly, global load vector is obtained. Thus, we can write the equilibrium equation in the form of matrix. Here you can see, the penalty approach used for handling the boundary conditions. The modification of global stiffness matrix and global load vector is depicted here. Thus, we can obtain the modified global stiffness matrix. Also, we can obtain the modified global load vector. Below is the final matrix equation. Upon solving the final matrix equation, we get the nodal values. Further, using basic finite element concepts, you can find the derived quantities such as strains, stresses etc. In this way, you can handle multipoint constraint boundary conditions.